We have NCU loud and clear, ready to begin. Well, dear crews on the International Space Station and on the ground, uh, dear thousands of humans down there working on this project in the control centers, engineers, planners, technicians, scientists, Expedition 57 is coming to an end and actually to a successful end, despite some of the challenges uh, that we had. Uh, in every one of these situations, we were able to come together, the international partners, the crews, the control centers, and do what we're really good at uh, as this international cooperation to adapt to challenges, to changes, and uh, all turn situations to the best, to make the best out of it. And that's what we did. And uh, here we are, six humans on the International Space Station, the embassy of humankind out in space, continuing an 18-year uninterrupted human presence on this fantastic laboratory. At the same time, we also were able to complete a great scientific program. I mean, we had about 300 scientific experiments. Uh, we looked at new materials. Uh, we uh, investigated climate change. We observed live cells. We uh, worked in uh, cancer medication to improve uh, treatments against cancer. We uh, improved treatments against Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. We uh, did uh, plasma and quantum physics. And last but not least, we tested new technologies that will enable us to go further to Moon and Mars. And speaking about Moon and Mars, during this expedition, this half year up here on Space Station, we completed about 3,000 orbits around our planet, covering the distance uh, between Moon and, and Earth 200 times over, forth and back. And uh, in addition to that, we also completed half an orbit around Sun with uh, all of you guys together. Uh, I would like to thank my Soyuz crew, my friends Sergey and Serena, for well a fantastic time up here, half a year on the International Space Station. Uh, not only you guys worked professionally and with a great attitude to make this expedition successful, but in addition to that, you guys showed such a great like attitude towards living up here on station, um, making this a great display of international cooperation so thanks for that uh, at the same breath I have to uh, thank all our families uh, because they supported us during these uh, six months up here and in the all the preparation time before and without that support this mission would not have been possible at all we know that uh, you guys actually have the hardest job of this mission and we will never forget that uh, same goes for the mission teams, so all the thousands of people down there who contributed to, to that mission, to, uh, to this fantastic project with what they have as a talent uh, coming together, bringing in their dedication. Without this, this would not be possible at all. The new crew, uh, it's fantastic to see you guys. Uh, you joined Expedition 57 for two and a half weeks and you hit the ground running and you did something that some people said was not possible. You uh, got ready in, uh, in two and a half weeks to take over this fantastic uh, place, this fantastic machine. And if I see you guys, I really have to say you are ready. Oleg, of course, I don't have to say much. You've been here many times before. I think this is your fourth mission. So you're a very <laughs> experienced commander and I know uh, this place will be in very, very good hands, uh, your hands. Uh, when we close that hatch tomorrow, we'll be both happy and sad. We will leave this place with a laughing and a crying eye, um, mostly because we miss you, our friends up here, but also this, this fantastic, magical place. This is the only place that humans have outside of planet Earth where humans can live. And uh, if you like, down there on Earth, you can actually see it with your naked eye. You just go to the ISS website and uh, it tells you when to see us. You can look up in the sky and you will see this bright little star moving over the sky. Uh, you can see that uh, on many, many nights. And uh, if you see it, think about that humans actually built this, that uh, there are right now six humans, soon only three humans up here out of the seven billion humans that live down on Earth. So give these guys a wave when you see them. I will herewith hand over 
command of the International Space Station to Oleg Dmitrovich Kanyanyenko as the commander of Expedition 58. Congratulations, Oleg. And we ring the bell traditionally, and I will hand over the key to the ISS to Oleg. Oops. Pardon? Thank you, Alex. Uh, first of all, thank you for the great handover we have got from you. Uh, thank you for the great job you have done as station commander. Uh, you were good uh, at keeping station uh, in order and excellent condition. We appreciate you warm welcome and uh, sharing your experience with our crew and uh, it was short handover but extremely product productive serena thank you for your kindness your attitude and creating a harmonious and friendly atmosphere in our crew sergey no uh to очень competent и очень профессионален спасибо мы с тобой дружно и очень профессионально выполнили один из сложных Выхода в открытый космос. Спасибо тебе за это. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with uh, you. You successful completed all the tasks here on board. It was uh, a bit longer expedition than expected, but right now it's time for you to go back home and meet uh, your families. We wish you Godspeed and soft landing. Expedition 58 and 59 are going to be very busy and we are ready to get to work. Thanks uh, to everyone on the ground. One more thanks, Alex, to you, Serena, Sergey. No, and uh, I'm ready to assume command of the International Space Station. Thank you very much. Awesome. Houston, this concludes the event.